Tonight, a Cathedral City community is mourning the death of a convenience store owner who was shot and killed last night during an armed robbery. News Channel 3's Jake Gracia is live tonight in Cathedral City with the latest on this investigation and also what friends and colleagues are saying about the victim. Jake. John, good evening. And it is apparent tonight the impact that this man, who's only being identified by his first name, Chris, right now had on the community. Just take a look at this huge crowd gathering here. Hundreds and hundreds of people over the course of the day have been pouring out to Outpost Market here, where this man who was killed was the owner, to pay their respects. Uh, police say that he was shot last night around 9.15. We're taking you now to video from the investigation after that shooting happened. Police say that when they arrived... Chris had already been shot, and they tried to save him, but ultimately he had been killed. The suspect tonight is still on the run, and police say they are not releasing details about who they're looking for or surveillance footage from the store. The business owners in the area and friends tonight are sharing about the man who died. They say he'll be sorely missed in this community. If he could help you out, he will. And Chris was a good man, and he is still a good man. In my heart, he's still a good man. And he should be that to other people. Really an amazing friend. Um, everything that he's done for me and for the, the community as well. I mean, a lot of people know him. Uh, he was really caring for everybody else, his brothers as well. The whole family, you know, it's a family-owned business, and they're all, you know, I love them all. Now, this isn't the first shooting involving the outpost market. This video is from the 2017 investigation into a shooting right in this same parking lot that took the life of a 26-year-old Cathedral City man. Police say he was shot and killed in his car. And the suspect, suspected gunman from last night's shooting still on the run at this hour. Police say they are actively working leads, but again, they are not releasing any surveillance footage or a description of who they're looking for at this time. We're live tonight in Cathedral City. Jake Gracia, News Channel 3.